Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now in today's video, I'm looking at a great product for your Raspberry Pi 4. It's called the Raspad 3. It's basically an enclosure for your Raspberry Pi 4. And the great thing is, it comes with a built-in battery and a 10-inch IPS touchscreen. And it's got a full HDMI output port. So it essentially turns your Raspberry Pi 4 into a tablet device. Which is great if you don't want to be fiddling around with cables and pin ports. And you want to get straight into your media consumption and gameplay on your Raspberry Pi 4. With minimum fuss and hassle. Now the box contains everything you need to get started and get your Raspberry Pi up and running in the Raspad 3. Just make sure you've got all the components by checking on the components list here. And as you can see it's quite a comprehensive list here. And on the back you got some instructions of how to set up the Raspberry Pi 4 in the case. So definitely worth checking this out guys. And the Raspad 3 has got a nice 10.1 inch touchscreen which is IPS. And to the side we've got our Ethernet in, our 3 USB 3 ports, our HDMI out and a headphone socket and power input. Now you can also get access to the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi through the back here. On the other side of the Raspad we've got the micro SD card slot, a power on off button and controls for volume up and down and brightness up and down and a battery meter. And on the bottom there's some vents for heat dissipation. Now in the bottom of the box we've got all the power leads and cables. So you've got your main plug to charge up the battery in the Raspad and you connect that plug to the power brick which in turn you connect to the Raspad. Also in the box you get a pack of leads which are going to come in handy when you connect the Raspberry Pi to the Raspad. And they even throw in a screwdriver. And you get a mini fan to cool down the system. And you get some screws and heat sinks to cool and attach the Raspberry Pi to the Raspad. And lastly you get an SD card connector to connect the Raspad to the Raspberry Pi. And you also get an accelerometer in there. Which is added to the pins on the Raspberry Pi. Ok guys so this is all that comes in the box including all the leads. Now in the next part of the video I'm going to show you how to set all this up with your Raspberry Pi 4 and then install some software and show you the performance of the screen. Ok so the first thing we need to do is open up our Raspad and install our Raspberry Pi 4. Now it's pretty straightforward, there's some screws on the back which you just undo and it all comes apart easily. It just pries apart from the sides. So taking a look on the inside we've got our dual stereo speakers and we've got an external SD card. Also we've got the buttons along the side here and we've got the main board which controls the LCD display and it gives us the HDMI and USB out on the side. And along the top we've got the massive battery and I was actually quite surprised to see this was a 3200 milliamp battery and you should get 3 to 5 hours usage out of this. Now looking at the instructions it looks fairly easy to set up. You've got our mounts here for your Raspberry Pi 4 and you just place it on top and just screw it in with the screws provided. Which just takes all of 5 minutes. Now initially I'm just putting in 2 screws just to make sure I get all the connections right. So the next thing I'm going to do is apply the heat sinks that they've supplied to the Raspberry Pi 4. And they're going to go in the 3 locations here. I'm also going to insert the SD card ribbon into the Raspberry Pi 4. I'll later connect the other end to the Raspad board. So the first connection I'm going to make is the Ethernet connection and I'm going to connect it to the Raspberry Pi 4 and then connect it to the main board of the Raspad. And again in the same manner I'm going to connect the USB 3 cable to the Raspberry Pi 4 and the main board on the Raspad, giving us USB 3 access. Next I'm going to connect the two HDMI connectors between the two boards and one gives the HDMI output of the Raspberry Pi to the LCD screen and the second one connects to the HDMI port on the Raspad, giving us the full size HDMI output on the Raspad. And before I forget, I'm going to connect the SD card ribbon on the Raspberry Pi 4 to the Raspad, giving us the external SD card slot on the Raspad. And lastly, to provide power to the Raspberry Pi, we're going to use the USB Type-C connector and connect it to the board on the Raspad, and connect the other end to the Raspberry Pi 4 power USB-C connector. And that's it guys, the main connections are done. And the last thing I'm going to do is attach the fan to the case, and then attach the heat sinks to the Raspberry Pi 4. Ok so I've connected the cooling fan to the main board on the Raspad and as you can see it just connects on the end here. And I've also attached the heat sinks to the Raspberry Pi 4. Ok guys so I've got it all set up and it's all connected ready to go. As you can see we've got full access to all the ports. And on the other side you can see the battery indicator is showing I need to charge this up a bit more. And I can just barely hear the fan, it's no noise at all which is a good sign. So the first thing I'm testing is RetroPie and I'm going to plug in my games and I'm going to plug in my PS4 controller. Now of course you can connect it wirelessly so with the buttons on the side you can increase the volume and decrease it and you can also increase the brightness and decrease it with the same buttons. Now to me the screen looks very good and it's very responsive and the colours are bright and vibrant so I think I'll try a Super Nintendo game 
and Street Fighter 2 should give us a good test of the screen and the sound. So I'm going to be quiet for a bit so you can hear the speakers. As you can hear over my thrashing, the speakers are loud and clear, and watching the gameplay, it's smooth and fluid. Now I also installed the latest version of Manjaro onto the Raspberry Pi 4, and it looked and worked slick, and I was able to install an on-screen keyboard for keyboard input. Having said that, I was able to connect my Logitech mouse and keyboard via the dongle, and browsing the internet on the tablet with the Mozilla browser was a breeze, and consuming media content on the Raspad is a pleasure thanks to the great screen and brilliant speakers. So guys, if you're into your tinkering with your Raspberry Pi, the Raspad 3 is definitely worth a buy. There is so much potentially you can do with this device, including integrating it into a home assistant setup, or you can even use it as a 3D printer monitor. Anyway guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe consider subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next one.